In this fog rectification example, we'll take foggy input images shown on the left and clear it up to get the output image shown on the right. Here's the fog rectification algorithm. There are several stages to it. First, we'll start with dark channel estimation. Then we will uh, go through anastrophic diffusion, applying inverse Cauchy meters law, histogram stretching, and finally filtering the image. Once we're ready, we can go ahead and open the GPU coder app for us to start generating code. Here's the GPU coder app. The first thing we need to do is to specify the file that we want to generate code for. From there, we'll then need to go ahead and specify the input data types for our file. Now we can do this uh, manually, as you can see here. I can start inputting the data types and sizes in there. But there's an easier way. And to do that, I can go ahead and specify either a file or the actual command to execute my algorithm. I can click on the auto define feature and MATLAB will infer the data types and sizes automatically. From here, I can go ahead and specify what kind of file I want to generate, whether it's source code, static or dynamic libraries, or in this case, a MEX file that I can generate to run back within MATLAB. Code generation was successful. If we take a look at the code generation report, we can take a look at the fog rectification header file. You'll see that we have one function in there. Clicking on that, we can take a look at the fog rectification function itself. If you go through it, you'll notice that we take care of CUDA memory allocation through CUDA Malix. We also take care of the CUDA memory copies between CPU and GPU by using CUDA mem copy, and of course, calling uh, the actual CUDA kernels. If we then go ahead and run the uh, MEX file and compare it to our original uh, implementations in MATLAB, you'll see that we see an approximate five times speed up running it on the GPU.